this topic is going to be focused more on including images into our games. A basic 2D image in gaming is typically referred to as a sprite. When animating a sequence of images, we're not going to keep them all in separate files, that'd be ridiculous, but rather we're going to keep them all in one file in a grid formation in order, left to right, top to bottom, and when we do this, we refer to that whole picture as a sprite sheet. So even a picture that only has one image on it is really just a special case. It's a grid of one by one images. So it's still called a sprite sheet technically. So when we load images into our programs using the Java game engine that's set up for you, what we're going to be creating is a sprite sheet that exists within our game. So we need to do some setup. We need to do some organization before we get too deep into this. Open up your game project and inside there you'll find a res folder. It's short for resources. Inside there you'll find another folder called images and you'll also see a sounds folder but we're going to focus just on the images for now. And inside the images folder is a backgrounds folder and a sprites folder. Once you've picked out the images you're going to work with, I've come up with a few, uh, I've done some searching and I've come up with a few basic images that we're going to deal with. Um, what I need you to do is I need you to go in, find the images you want. I'm going to choose this background image and let's say um, the mushroom. I'm going to copy these. Actually, I'm just going to take them one at a time. I'm going to grab the background. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back into my workspace. I'm going to go into my project, which I called it Game Tinker. And I'm going to store it inside that resource folder, inside the images folder. And because this is my background, I'm going to put it in the backgrounds folder. I'm going to paste it in there. And I'm going to rinse and repeat this process, this time with um, the, where is it? This time I'm going to do it with the mushroom. I'm going to grab my mushroom, go back again into my workspace, go back to my game tinker project, the resource folder, images. This time I'm going to put it in the sprites folder. There we go. Now I can look at this and I can get all the needed information I want about it just by right clicking on it and saying properties. And what it's going to tell me is, if I go to details, it'll tell me how big it is. So this one's 32 pixels wide by 32 pixels high. Whereas my background, go back up, my background, its size is 800 pixels wide by 700 pixels high. So I may need to know this later on, so it's good to know how to get this information. So I've included these pictures inside of my project's folders, but they're not showing up. So what we need to do is we need to right click on the name of our project and there should be a refresh button. If you click this, what it's going to do, it's going to look through your look through your uh, computer and say, are there any new files? Has there been any changes? So when I do that, now when I click on here, we can actually see that there are files in here. smbackground.png and mushroom.png. Typically when we're working with games, the file type you're going to want is PNG. It's very compressed, so it's small in size and it can handle transparent pixels, pixels that are see-through, semi-see-through or completely see-through. This allows you to do things like with the mushroom, for example. The mushroom has a white background that just looks white, but it's actually transparent. So all you ever see on the screen is actually just the mushroom, not some white square that sits around it or anything like that. So now that we have all of that set up, we need to look into creating and setting up our sprite sheets within our projects. Yes, we've included the images, but we haven't actually done anything with them. So for the rest of the module, we're going to learn how to set up a sprite sheet. So to do this, we need to do uh, a number of different actions. First, we need to define a variable to hold the sprite sheet. Then we're going to load the sprite sheet into memory. We're going to decide where we want that sprite sheet to be drawn. And we're actually going to do the drawing. So that's going to take up a lot of different things. So first up, we need to define a variable to hold our sprite sheet. We need one for each of ours. So we have a background image and we have a mushroom image. At least I do. Depending on what you're doing, you may have something else. So what I'm going to create is a global variable. Yes, global, because I may or may not use this in multiple locations in my program. I will. So first thing, its data type is going to be sprite sheet. And I'm going to give it a name that's clear what I'm talking about. So I'm talking about a background image. So I'm just going to use BG and IMG to denote the fact that it is an image, BG image. So that's for my background, and I need one for my mushroom. So I'm gonna do the same thing, sprite sheet, mush image. So I have my mushroom image. 
So now, once we've actually done this, the next thing we need to do is load it into memory. We need to load the pictures into memory. To do this, we're going to use a command that you haven't seen before, and we're going to work in a location or a program that you haven't worked before. We're going to go into the load content code, because we're actually going to be loading some images. As we see here in the comment, load images, sounds, and set up any data. We're going to be loading some images. So basically, we're going to give this variable bg image a value. So I'm going to say bg image equals something. Well, what does it equal? A new sprite sheet. So a sprite sheet is an object, just like we had before. And when we create this sprite sheet, we need to satisfy some certain information. Basically, it needs a picture. But we haven't loaded the picture yet. So we're going to load the picture right here on the spot. And the way that we load a picture is we call a new, a new command, load image dot from file. Now this is actually going to pull it out of memory and put it into our project. Now notice the one parameter it has, path. It's a string. Basically it wants to know where is the file located. Well we know that it's in our resource folder slash images slash backgrounds slash sm underscore background. So that's what I have to state. So inside my quotes, I'm going to put a slash there. And I am in the images folder. Uh, inside the images folder, we're in the backgrounds folder. And inside the backgrounds folder, we just need the name of our image, which is sm underscore. And now you need to spell this perfectly, background.png. And then I close my quotes. I have an extra bracket there, I think. Uh, no, I don't. And then I have my semicolon. I just want to make sure I spelled this right. sm underscore background.png. It looks good. So now I've loaded my image into memory. It exists in my program now. I'm still not drawing it yet, but it does exist. The next piece of the puzzle is we need to actually decide how big we want it and where we want it. 